my dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, my dear children. I was in Calcutta addressing all the vicars general and episcopal vicars and the deans of uh, the state of West Bengal. One of the questions addressed to me was, why can't the Catholic Church be more understanding with regard to the broken marriages. It is very difficult to get a decree of annulment from our ecclesiastical court. While on the other hand, people can get divorce by mutual consent before the civil court. Because of this strict principle of the Catholic Church, Many are joining other Christian denominations since they accept it very easily. I was telling them, the Catholic Church cannot compromise on some of the principles of divine law. Unity of marriage, one man, one woman for life. Indissolubility of marriage, what God has joined together let no man put us under. My dear sisters and brothers, why can't the church, why can't Jesus water down his demands on his disciples? Why should the demands of God must be radical and decisive? Unfortunately, there is no easy bargain when it comes to Christian values. Catholic principles. There is no weekend reduced sales when it comes to Catholic Church. Today the Lord wants us to be really convinced about our faith, to be courageous about our faith and to be committed about our faith. Do you really know Christ? Can you call yourself the follower of Christ? That is the question. You know, St. Paul, after he was touched by the Lord on the way to Damascus, was conscious of whom he was following. He says, I know, I am sure. Are you able to say the same thing? Maybe you received baptism like children. Maybe you began your religious life when you were not that much conscious. Now that you have grown, you have come of age, are you able to say, I am sure, I know whom I am believed. That is the first thing. We all should be really convinced about our faith and be also courageous. Courageous because the Lord is seeing us we can never escape the gazing of God. Let us remember that. Lou Little was a football coach in Columbia University. There was one of the boys whom he was coaching, was giving new life to the whole football team, but then he was not such a good player. That boy, after the match, often used to walk around the football court with his dad who was wearing spectacles. The boy suddenly lost his father. Afterwards he came and told the coach, I want to play, give me a chance. Lou Little said to himself, I will allow this boy to play for 10 or 15 minutes. Afterwards I will replace him with somebody else, because he is not that good. I don't want this team to lose. And then he allowed him to play unwillingly. The boy played a marvelous game, a spirited game, inspired game. He did not change him at all for the whole 60 minutes. At the end of the game, he asked this boy, how is it that you played so well today? Better than any other day. You are the best player. You are the man of the match. How is it? He said, 
you know sir my father was blind he did not want others to know that he was blind now that he is dead i prayed for my father he is watching from above when he was on this earth he could not see me playing but now he is dead he is watching from above my dear brothers and sisters our father is watching from above god our father is watching your family watching your work schedule watching your teaching watching you are going to school how we have to live always to please him yes always to please him we can do a marvelous job my dear brothers and sisters and then finally if you are faithful to the lord there will be testing times there will be divisions don't buy peace at any cost you know what somebody is saying is not right and you keep quiet in recent times we read in the newspapers about politics about cricket and all how some of our leaders were keeping quiet when so many injustices were going on and they don't say i have nothing to do with it i was just watching it either you take a stand for jesus or you are opposed to jesus in your own family life so many situations come the lord says i did not come to bring peace i came to bring division means not peace compromising with injustice in a particular family somebody wants to go for abortion the other person opposes there is a division the church cannot promote a legalization of abortion in another case somebody thinks lesbianism or homosexuality is all right there are nations which have approved them also completely the church cannot keep quiet there is always division those who oppose it and those who stand for the principles of christ and there may be countries where prostitution is legalized and some others think that even getting bribe is okay a catholic government official was made fun of you are like a dog in the manger neither you eat nor allow us to eat you are not getting bribe you also prevent us from getting bribe there is constantly confusion or more division when you stand for right in your own family some of the parents say why should i correct my children there will be quarrel so i don't correct and the prophet hesekiel says you are set as a watchman over your people if you don't want them you will be held responsible you want them and still they go astray you will not be held responsible why do you want to buy peace at any cost you can't buy you should stand for christ constantly every choice of yours my dear brothers and sisters must manifest your love for christ suffering for justice are you ready to suffer for justice most of the time we keep quiet thinking that we can be neutral there is no neutrality before god either you are for him or against him there are only two categories of people the persecutors and the persecuted sometimes even during the arranged marriages maybe i hear some mother in mothers in law are asking for so much of gold so much of money so much of property and things like that the fathers in law are silent spectators can they be they completely forgiven of their fault they are also a party when they are pleasing their maximum from the girl's family injustice injustice they can't say i had nothing to do only my son did it my daughter in law did it my father in law did it my brother in law did it whenever you are keeping quiet when something injustice is done to your brothers and sisters you are not resembling jesus and jesus says very clearly there will be division 
There will be division. Every day you want to study properly. Other children want you to play. Should you immediately join them? You want to keep quiet in the class. Other children want to make a lot of noise. Are you a Christian? Are you a disciple of Jesus Christ? You want to read the scriptures. You want to watch programs that inspire you to follow the Lord more closely. Others want only fighting scenes and all kinds of rubbish that is there. Are you expected to follow them? Think of Joseph. How he was seduced by Potiphar's wife. And Joseph said, How can I do this wickedness before my God? My dear brothers and sisters, the Lord is telling you, how can I do this wickedness? How can I remain without praying? Daniel was told not to pray. If you pray, the punishment is you will be cast into lion's den. But Daniel prayed and was in the lion's den. And the Lord closed the mouth of the lion and saved him. Yes. You have to pray. You have to do your work. You have to follow Christian values on this day of Justice Sunday, my dear brothers and sisters. The Lord invites us. You have to take a stand for Jesus. Let us be committed to the Lord. This is the kind of life Jesus is calling us to live. A life with a cutting edge that chooses costly price of ultimate loyalties. To the cheapness of easy thrills or momentary relationships. It is a life that holds on to abiding joys instead of reaching for quick kicks and easy pleasures. It is a life that is called upon to weigh the consequences, to think first then react, to react in the way that puts God first and our desires, our aims, our pleasures second. It is a life that even sometimes calls us to stand apart, to stand alone, maybe even in your family. You may have to be alone, even in your family, because you are faithful to Christ. But know and believe that this life full of loyalty to Christ, full of commitment to Christ, full of Jesus, is an abundant life. Amen.